Hi and welcome. So in this video we are going to install the Azure AD domain services tools to manage the AADDS domain. We will also take a look at the tools to see what administrative tasks can and can't be done managing AADDS. These will be installed onto a Windows 2022 VM that's been joined to the AADDS domain in the last video. So if you missed that video or any other AADDS videos in the series, links are in the description. So Azure Active Directory Domain Services is not intended as a replacement for Windows AD. It's a one-way sync from Azure AD, which if using hybrid and AD Connect, as in the diagram, this is normally synced from on-premise Active Directory. So if you create an OU or user account within AADDS, it will not be synced back to Azure AD or on-premises. So common Active Directory actions such as resetting a user's account uh, password or managing group memberships are available. However, this is only available for users and groups created directly into the managed domain. As stated, it's a one-way sync of users and groups and credentials only from Azure AD to AADDS. So there's no write back from AADDS to Azure AD. Any user accounts, groups, service accounts and computer objects that you create under customer use are not available in your Azure AD tenant and they are actually created within the managed domain suffix, not the Azure AD or on-premise domain name. The AADDS domain and the on-premise domain are completely separate, so there's no link between them. So let's install the tools and take a look at the administrative tasks in the next section of the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe and like buttons below to receive future notifications on up and coming videos. Thank you. So you use the same administrative tools in a managed AADDS domain as in on-premise AD environments, such as Active Directory Administration Center, or AD Users and Computers, or PowerShell. These tools can be installed as part of the remote administration tool set features on Windows Server and client computers. So a member of the AADDC Administrators Group can then administrate uh, Active Directory domain services, managed domains remotely, using these administrative tools from a computer that is joined to the managed domain. As you can see, the Windows 2022 server is joined to the managed domain, dscloudinspired.com. So we go to Server Manager, and we add roles and features here, and we click Next three times until we get to this section. And then we scroll down to the Remote Server Administration Tools section and then the remote administration tools part we click ad ds and install the tool set here uh, so tick these and then click next and then install So the AADDS tools are now installed, so we will click Active Directory, Users and Computers and take a look around. So we can see our managed domain unique namespace is dscloudinspired.com. You can see we have an AADDC Computers OU with our Windows 2022 server joined to the domain can also see the users and groups available and the one-way sync that has occurred from Azure AD. As stated before, the AADDS domain in this case is dscloudinspired.com and the on-premise sync domain in this case is cloudinspired.com and they are completely separate, there is no link between them. We can see the AADDS managed domain controllers that are patched and managed as a service from Microsoft And we can also view uh, in Active Directory Administration Center the same views as well here. So let's switch over to the Azure portal. And if we go to users, 
we can see the same set of users that are synced to uh, enable us to log in to a domain joined to server, for example, using password hash synced UPN username cloudinspired.com. So there's no enterprise or domain admin accounts here. Instead, there's a group called AAD DC administrators, and this is used to manage AADDS. We can use the Azure portal to initially add these users into that group to enable management of the AADDS domain. So if we don't do this, we're unable to log in via RDP to a server using the CI admin username, for example, and we would get an error because we are not a member of the AAD DC administrators group, or we would not be allowed to have the permissions to create new objects such as OUs and users, etc. So let's sign out of this server and let's log back in using this CI admin account to give us those permissions now that the user has been added to, added to the group. So once we have now logged in with the CI admin user with permissions granted, we can see we have the options to create new objects within the directory. In this example, we can create a test OU and a new user within that OU. And please bear in mind that this is in a different domain as shown dscloudinspired.com. AADDS requires a publicly routable domain when deployed. So the domain name is different domain from the on-premise domain and the Azure AD domain. Users replicated and synced from the source Azure AD domain can log in with their Azure AD UPN. So in this case, it's cloudinspired.com. But any users provisioned from Azure AD DS will use Azure AD DS domain suffix dscloudinspired.com. This situation is manageable, but is confusing for users and support. So here you will see the management domain is dscloudinspired.com and the on-premise domain is cloudinspired.com. So we can configure the built-in group policy object GPOs for AADDC computers and AADDC users containers within the management domain. And we choose group policy management and we'll speed the video up here for convenience. So there's limited group policy support here. So Azure AD DS is a pass offering. So it means customers don't have to log in and manage the domain controllers. It's all done via Microsoft. With that said, there is no access to server resources such as the sysfold folder. So Azure AD DS does support a default set of group policies. However, it's not possible to add ADMX files to the sysfold folder. So as shown, we can now open group policy management and add in the new GPOs, or we can edit existing uh, GPOs in the management domain, dscloudinspired.com. So common Active Directory actions, such as resetting the user account password or managing a group membership are available. However, this is only available for users and groups created directly within the managed domain. When we try and move user accounts that are synced, we get an error, uh, access denied as shown. So as stated, it's a one-way sync of users and groups uh, and credentials only from Azure AD to AADDS. There's no write back from AADDS to Azure AD at all. Okay, so thanks for watching the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button and the like buttons below to receive future notifications on up and coming videos. So see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye bye.